Welcome to another tech tip from Go Engineer for 3D printing. Today I want to share with you the most important step you need to take with your PolyJet 3D printer. That is cleaning the heads and the roller. So today we're going to need a few tools. The first and most important is a mirror. You're going to need isopropyl alcohol. 90 to 95 is ideal. The 70 that you can get right off the grocery store shelf is going to be fine too if that's all you can find. Lint-free cloth and a glove to protect your hand and a flashlight of some sort so you can see what's going on down by the heads. All right. So to start off with, we'll go into our software to begin the wizard. That is under Options, Wizards, Heads Cleaning. And the different softwares have different things for you to check and go through. Just follow the instructions and it'll walk you right through it. Today I'm using our uh, desktop Object 30 model, but the ideas and concepts are the same across all of the PolyJet printers. Okay? As the wizard goes through its process of homing, finding its position, and warming up the heads, I just want to emphasize that you do need to run this cleaning every single time you print with it, preferably to get in there and get it clean immediately after the print finishes. All right? So check my software. It says we're ready to go. Most of them say something to the effect of, are the heads clean with a little checkbox next to it? That's your cue to go in and get stuff going. Okay? So we'll open up the lid, get my flashlight in there so we can see, put the mirror down inside, and you want the mirror to be positioned so that you can actually see the heads really, really well. Get my glove on here. Oh, <laughs> wrong hand. There we go. All right. So when you're getting your cloth wet, you don't want to just give it a couple little sprays. You want to get the cloth really, really wet so that no matter where you touch on the heads to clean them, it's completely wet and it will give a really good clean. Just to show you what we're working with underneath here, we've got our two heads and the roller is further back and we need to clean all of those. So you get your cloth and just lay it across both of the print heads with a little bit of gentle upward pressure and just wipe back and forth covering the entire span of the print heads and just make sure you're not catching the corners too much. You don't want to rip off the tops of those heads. It's very rare, but I'd rather you know just to be careful about it. Just a couple wipes back and forth will get it. Then you reach all the way under to clean the roller. Roll it, clean it, roll it, clean it, roll it, clean it, all the way around so you get the entire surface of that roller. Once you're done with that, then we need to make sure and take everything out. Cloth, flashlight, mirror, you'll only forget that once. Close the lid, then we hit the checkbox on the software saying that yes, we have cleaned the heads and the roller, and now it is able to go through its finishing up process, uh, doing its own purge and wipe, this uh, makes sure the heads are cleared out of any little teeny particulates that maybe we missed and gets it ready to go for the next print job. That's all we got for cleaning the print heads. Again, make sure you do this every single time you run a print job. If this has been helpful to you, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any other questions, reach out to us at GoEngineer.com and we'll be happy to help. See you next time. Thanks.